you know, I still got to turn it up, you know. God says, I'm not in that turn it up business. That's not that's part time. Y'all know I'm talking yeah. to you, right? Come on. Come on. I told y'all I love y'all, but I'm not scared of y'all. Amen. Yeah. Come on. You know, I got somebody great. Amen. So she gets there. Now listen to this. And she goes back to her boyfriend. And they get into an argument. And he begins to whoop on her behind. And she shot him. Are y'all listening? Wow. This is a warning. She shot him. But that part-time lover that's so faithful and merciful allowed the man to live. She didn't kill him. So you got to understand, I'm in this business, domestic violence, if you shoot your, shoot your abuser, it doesn't matter, you're still going to jail. There's over 200,000 women in, in prison, just in California alone, for domestic violence, for, for killing their partners. But he didn't die. Because that part-time lover that she's serving part-time had enough mercy to have mercy upon her. But he put a hit out on her. So she, she, she not messing with no little titty when do. He put a hit out on her. So now she's running for her life because you made a vow to God. And you say, I gotta keep turning on, it up. Doctor, and because I'm not in the presence of the people that prayed for me, now I can live my life any kind of way. And see what you don't understand, yes, what's done in the dark comes to the light. So now she has to explain why you promised God that you would not commit fornication and live for him, but you got your dude staying with you. Not only are you turning it up, but you guys are fight, and then you pull out a gun and shoot him. And understand she's not even registered with the gun, so of course it has body counts on it. Mm. Uh -oh. Come on. Back to the word. That's for somebody. Amen. So we get here, and Samson finally meets, this is what I'm saying, Samson finally meets someone that is his match. He meets Delilah, and she's finer than any harder that he's ever met. And so he goes in with Delilah, and he begins to talk with her, and he begins to spend time with her. And the Philistines see that he is speaking with Delilah, and they say, listen, we will pay you some money if you will go ahead and find out what we can do to get rid of him. See, you got to understand that they were afraid of Samson. You got to understand that the certified crazy one, Satan, is afraid of you. He He's afraid that if you get yourself together and stop treating God like the certified crazy one or stop treating God like he's your part-time lover, that you would do detrimental damage to his kingdom. He's afraid that you would bring in some souls. He's afraid that you would live right for God. He's afraid that you would drive out demons. He's afraid that you would preach the word. He's afraid that you would teach the word. He's afraid that you can go out and bring in souls. So what he does is try to keep you on a part-time level. Are you hearing me? God is speaking to you today. So Delilah agrees. See, everybody that say they got your back and ride or die don't have your back. That's right. Everybody that say they got your back and ride or die don't have your back. That's right. And Delilah was putting it on thick. Listen, brothers, women, women not innocent. They just is crazy and all that. Yes, yes. Say that again. Listen, brothers, these women ain't they ain't what you think they are. They crazy as all get out. Amen. They'll knock you down the stairs and take you out. Ladies, you got to be a pay attention. And I'm saying this because we got a lot of young adults in here. And it's important to us that we date because that's what validates us. It, it makes us feel good about ourselves. It, it makes us feel like we're on top of the world. I'm getting back to this. It makes us feel like we're important. Listen, it's nothing worse than letting somebody else validate you because you will never allow God to validate who you are and show you what he's purposed you to be. As long as you continue to treat God like the part-time lover that he is not. As long as you continue to try to make people make you feel like you want to feel. That's why you're in the fifth relationship now. Because the last four didn't work out. And let me tell you a known secret. This one ain't gonna work out neither. Hello. Listen. So Delilah decides she's going to trade him out. And they're really excited because now they finally got Samson where they want him. And so she asked Samson, how is it that you have your strength? And Samson liked to play around, you know. Samson didn't realize because he was treating God as his certified crazy one and treating God as his part-time lover that he didn't realize that he was in trouble. So he kept telling her all types of little stories. What if you do this and it'll take my strength? And, and she found out that didn't work. And, and if you do that, this will take my strength. And found out that didn't work. And, and if you do this, that would take my strength. And, and she got tired of telling the Philistines to come on, he's ready. And so then she began to cry and lament unto him. You treated me bad, you're not treating me right. You know how it is when we decide to treat people bad or when we decide to put people down and we say we don't have time for them and then they say, oh, you think you're too good? Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so finally Samson says, look, this is what happened. If you cut all my hair off, then I'll lose all my strength. 
if you just cut all seven of my lots off. Seven is the number of 